are still here at Forest National, Brussels, Belgium. This is the It's Showtime edition number 52. And now it is time for the final of the Fast and Furious eight-man tournament, 70 kilograms max. One of these two fighters will be the winner of the grand prize of 50,000 euros. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get the finalists here in the ring. And the first one making his way to the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Ukraine. Please welcome Artur Kishenko. What a moment here for Artur Kishenko. If there is one man over yeah. the years in the 70 kilo division that deserves a tournament win, surely yeah. it has to be no Kishenko. In 2008, he came close, controversially so, when he fought Masato in the final of the K1 World Max. He lost by an extra round decision after knocking down Masato in the early going. Many people think Kishenko should have won on that night. He also lost to Masato the year before in the semi-finals of the K1 World Max. As his time come tonight under a new coach, still undefeated since joining Mike Passanier last November. Is this now the moment for Kishenko to finally win a 70 kilo tournament? And his opponent in this final of the Fast and Furious eight-man tournament, 70 kilograms max, fighting out of the red corner, representing the Netherlands. Please welcome our second finalist, Robin. The crowd is behind Robin van Roosmalen. And you have to understand just what an occasion this is for Robin. He came in here tonight following a loss to Mohamed Kamal last time out in May. He also comes in as the replacement fighter for Giorgio Petrosian, who was the raging favorite to win this tournament, the two-time and current K1 Max World Champion, Giorgio Petrosian. So out of nowhere, Bruce Marlin comes in. First of all, he beats Shahid Ulad al Hajj by TKO. Then he beats Chris Nagimbi, the current world champion, at this weight under the Showtime banner by majority decision. Now he has the chance to upset Arta Kishenko, who came in the number two favourite overall. Kishenko, who beat the number one favourite, Andy Sauer. Kishenko, who hasn't taken that much damage yet. What a moment here for Vandros Marlin to become a true Cinderella story. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final. One of these two athletes will win the great prize of 50,000 euros. This fight will be three rounds of three minutes according to Showtime rules. And the referee of this match will be Mr. Muvadel El Hazahoui. And this fight is sponsored by Facebook.com slash It's Showtime now. All is in readiness for the final. 50,000 euro. Well, my calculations equals around 68,000 US dollars. Oh, not a bad night. Three fights okay. in one night. On. 68 grand. Not too bad. Arta Kishenko first to the center of the ring. Remember the rules. No oil ball. Yes, man, so we're going to no guess holding. here no that uh, okay. Andrew Smile has to fight on the inside. Okay. Indeed, he cannot stay at range against Kishenko. That would be Judge. a death sentence. Judge. Judge. Kishenko is going to go hard, Time. going to go strong, and so too will Van Rusmalen. Really? You are going to see a lot of action from the opening Wait. bowel. There wow. shouldn't be a filling up process in this one. The final! Michael Chavello, Frank Trick with you. And already those beautiful left round kicks of Kishenko. Double jab, right hand from Van Rusmalen. High knee! And a high left round from Kishenko. He's opened up like a house of fire. Inside leg kick from Van Rusmalen. Kishenko, as I said, the favourite, minus 225. Andrus Marlin, plus 105. Nice jab off Southpaw stance from Kishenko. All tied up, nowhere to go. Referee separates. Kishenko probing. He was fighting Orthodox earlier in the night. He's Southpaw here in the final. Is he hiding something? Is he protecting something? Or is he just trying to confound Andrus Marlin? 
Oh, he catches him on the schnoggin. He'll be breathing out the back of his head after that one, Kashenko. Outside leg kick from Barbados Marlin. Kashenko dips the liver. And again, attacking the organ. Kashenko's guard has opened up quite a bit from the last fight. Barbados Marlin's finding a way to get inside every single time he wants to throw that straight right hand down the center. He's getting his way in there. Kashenko the busy with the two so far. Sitting behind the jack. Throws the left down the corridor. It's an aggressive start for Kashenko. Pandros Marlon forced to cover up at the moment. He's got to choose his time to go on the inside. Now he gets there. And Kashenko puts him at range with the jab. Body shot. High knee! Tie clinch and knee nicely done from Kashenko. Threads the jab again. The Ukrainian working his hands well. Pandros Marlon covers up. Not letting anything get through the forearm. Backs Kashenko against the rope, but the Ukrainian springs off back to center in. Body shot, uppercut, right hook, outside thigh kick. Kashenko putting down the points. Hamru Smarlin goes to the body. The double forearms guard of Hamru Smarlin is exquisite. The left hook. No! Undersized, completely supposed to be overmatched in this fight. Was not supposed to have the height, the reach. All he had was the power to get in there, and he completely sneaks all the way inside and gets in and knocks out Kinshaka. That was a huge victory. What a great shot. He's only ever been knocked out twice before in his career, Kashenko. Last time was back in 2010 in the third round. Before that, in 2007, in the second round, he has never been knocked out in the first round. What was that, 47 seconds? Incredible. Van Rosmarlen, the underdog of the tournament, out of nowhere. The replacement for Giorgio Petrosian. Okay, He's what? gone through to win. What a great job. That's amazing. Amazing to be able to pull us off. He picked at the right time. He obviously had his technique down, stayed with the game plan. His coaches put them together perfectly. Look what at that left job. hand again behind the ear. Perfectly timed. One strike. And the thing about it is that it wasn't the only strike he was trying to throw. He threw a three-punch combination, but only one punch landed before he fell down. That was the beginning of the three-punch combination. That's why you got to throw in combos. That's why you have to punch in bunches. Because you never know which one's going to be the one that's going to land and knock the guy down. It was like when uh, Ali knocked out Foreman in Zaire. Punch got him, then he threw a couple after that and just let him fall to the ground. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. Man, that's amazing. What a great shot. Right at the temple, Look at this. left hand right over the top. Wow. I can't believe it, Frank. I, I mean, if you ask me who was going to win this tournament at the start of the night, I mean, Sauer, Kashenko, the favorites, and Kimbi on the other side of the draw. Van yeah. Rosmaler would not even have figured yeah. at all. 50 kilograms max. The winner by a knockout in the first round. In the quarterfinal, he broke the tooth of Chahid Ullad Al Haj in the second round. In the semi finals, he took out the world's champion at this weight, Chris Nagimbi, by decision. And here in the final, in the first round, in under a minute, he's knocked out Arta Kishenko with a left hook of the highest order. Robin Van Rusmalen, your champion, and Tyrone Spotton there congratulating him. What a moment for Van Rusmalen. What a moment for his camp. What a moment for his father, William Van Rusmalen, who we said earlier had knocked out Vitaly Klitschko back in the day when Klitschko was kickboxing. And now his son has just knocked out Art Kashenko. Okay. $68,000. For Mr. Kushenko. And he's not Please, a big middleweight either. Five foot hand. seven. The number 150 two pounds. Of this tournament. And winner of the check of 20,000 euros. The number two of the Fast and Furious eight man tournament, 70 kilograms max, Arthur Kushenko. Kushenko just seems to have bad luck when it comes to eight man tournaments, Frank. He just can't seem to go that little extra and, and, and clinch one of them. It's such a tough t format to be in, really, to get through and be able to have 
have the, the game, you know, have the fortitude to the last two, three fights of the night. It's so difficult. And then, really, a lot of it, too, is a little bit of luck of the draw. You know, a little bit has, you know, who do you draw in the first and second rounds? How do the, how do the fights go? And then what's going to happen with the opponent across the and other now, way? I mean, you cannot deny the fact that Kishinko, probably out of everyone tonight, did look the best. He was incredible to watch all night. He brought the aggression. He brought the power. He brought the technique. He kept coming forward. But he made just one cardinal mistake of dropping his hand. And it took just a split second for Robin Van Rusmalen to capitalize. That's the game of kickboxing. Yeah, I mean, that's the way it goes in all, in all athletic competition. I mean, really, in team sports, you've got a shot to cover up a hole. Every now and again, you know, a guy may break away, but you can cover up the other guys on the field. In, in, in contact sports like this, whether it's kickboxing or mixed martial arts, one small mistake ends the whole night. And look at this guy, Robin Bass, Van Russ Mulan is, is definitely stepped up, and I'm so surprised, because I agree with you, like, he was not on the radar at all. Just as a replacement came in and just kind of, kind of, the guy's going to be there, and he shows up and wins the whole thing. Robin van Rusmalen, if you didn't know his name Inspired before tonight, he's just become Rott, a household a name in kickboxing overnight. Simon Roots presenting a it's final present. It's worth Is it much? I'd wear that. It's a $12,000 watch right there. Add that to the 68 to grand the US this one. He's having a very good night at the office. Van the yeah. the trophy from the Fast and Furious once again, folks, just to illustrate, Van Rusmalen came in overall to win the tournament at odds of plus 800. In the final, he was plus 185. Kashenko was minus 225. Out of nowhere, a real Cinderella story. You could say almost the equivalent to Mark Hunt winning the K1 World Grand Prix in 2001, when he was just there to make up the numbers and he rampaged through the tournament, beating Jerome Labana and then beating Stefan Leko, and then defeating Francisco Filio in the Robert final. Like well, this is very similar. Van Rus Marlin was here I to make up I the numbers. I want to thank all the, guys, all the people who are with me today. I want to thank my dad, my uncles, everybody who is there for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Robin van Rus winner of the tournament. Robin and also I want to thank for this uh, opportunity. Winner of the tournament here tonight. And Thank you've you got to wonder, much. will he get a crack at Chris Nagimbi's world title? Having defeated Nagimbi earlier on here tonight, will he want a shot at the strap Nagimbi holds around his waist? The official 70 kilo world title. Folks, we hope you've enjoyed all the action here from the Forest National in Brussels, Belgium. It was an historic night where eight of the finest middleweight kickboxers on the planet got into the ring with only one man surviving. We saw Kago Drago we saw Arta Kashenko in quarterfinal number one with Kashenko coming up trumps. Andy Sauer had a tough go against Gregorian in quarterfinal number two, but Sauer came through, but it was a damaged Andy Sauer, wasn't it, Frank? We saw yeah. against Kashenko in the semis. A lot slower coming through in the semifinals. Didn't have as much, much power behind himself. Really couldn't step himself in and finally got knocked down and knocked out. It's just, that's how this, the kickboxing game goes. It's really difficult to try to battle against the guy, especially like Kashenko with his length and his strength. Inside B of the draw, it was Nagimbi and Van Rusmalen in the semi-final. Nagimbi was touted again as a favorite, but Van Rusmalen overcame the odds to advance. Merthel Gronart had a tough fight against Artem Levin, who was riding a 20-fight win streak in the 77-kilo world title defense. A snooze fest, a cure for insomnia for the first four rounds before Artem Levin delivered one solitary knee to the liver that knocked out Merthel. And how about this KO? Kreshnik over Borte in a heavyweight slugfest. And that took us, of course, to the final match where Robin van Rusmalen defeated Arta Kishenko and claimed 50,000 euro. Folks, wherever you watched on here on HDNet, we hope you've enjoyed all the action. As once again, HDNet continues to be your home for mixed martial arts, kickboxing, and a whole lot more. We are bringing you the biggest events from around the world, and it's gonna continue. So make sure you stay tuned, and we'll keep bringing you the biggest and best action from myself, Michael Chevello, my verbal sparring partner, Frank Trigg, and all the crew at HDNet, we say thank you at showtime. Congratulations, Robin van der Smalen.